I'm Sebastian Vettel and this time I'm reporting about the adjustable rear wing and curse. Every time you step on the brakes, the kinetic energy is caught and directed to an electric motor, where it's converted into electrical energy and stored in batteries. At the push of a button, an additional 80 brake horsepower can be sent to the back of the wheels, either in small doses or all at once for about 6 seconds. Curse can make the lap time quicker by around 0.3 seconds. But as a rule to overtake, you really need to be about 1.5 seconds faster per lap. Since most drive with Curse, in the race it is more of a strategic edge. How do you distribute your Curse power over each lap? You might need it for defense or perhaps even keep it for an attack. Curse helps in qualifying, but its best moment is at the start. Drivers with Curse have already got fully charged batteries in the start formation. If a gap appears, you can move out of the field more easily or defend your position in front. In the race then, Curse can really tip the scales. Instead of the front wing, in 2011 we can change the aerodynamics of the car at the rear. We are allowed to adjust the rear wing, which reduces drag but only in defined overtaking zones and when we are close enough to the car in front. When you leave the slipstream, you kind of bounce against a wall of air. The adjustable rear wing can make the car more streamlined and give you about 10 kilometers more speed.